Hi, my name is Clem. Welcome to our channel. It's all about food and places. Today, if you want to learn how to grow pineapple to look like this with peach snob, some brown sugar and cinnamon, well, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how. Want to buy the pineapple? One of the things that I do is I twist his head off because down here is where all the juices will settle. So what I do is I flip it upside down. So what you want to do is twist this off and then take a paper towel, put it upside down, and then let it sit for a few days until it ripens. So as you can see, Turning the pineapple upside down will help the juices just travel all the way through it. And so what we want to do is just kind of follow the rinds and we're going to cut it in multiple sections. So we'll just go like this, just real close so we don't waste too much of it. And just follow it. So what we're going to do is just go down the middle. All right, turn this this way. We're going to go down the middle. We're going to go down the middle again. We have these wedges that we got. So I might cut them some more. This will yield a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take this off. Well, I'm gonna see if I can cut it down the middle one more time. Cut two at the same time. There you go. So what you wanna do is just cut this edge here. That's that little core. I don't mind eating them, but some folks may not. I'm gonna cut this one in half. So you can see the thickness, it's not bad. That's what you like them. So this one's a little bit too thick and it had that little brown spot. So we're gonna cut that guy out. So, voila, see it's done. We're gonna core this guy out. I'm running out of room, guys. Yeah, and this guy's way too thick. It's got a little bad spot there. We're gonna go cut that out. And we're gonna, let me take the core out first. And we're gonna go ahead and cut it again. There you go. So that's a nice little piece there. This one, we're gonna cut it one more time. Just a little bit too thick. We got quite a few pieces that we were able to yield from here. Just for curiosity, let's say there's four six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pieces out of that one pineapple. Get a one gallon size plastic bag and just put them in. Try to put them in all in the same horizontal way because it will be ideal that you can lay them flat and then every so often toss them so the juice can get everywhere. Guys, I already feel my mouth watering because I know what's about to come. Remember that this is the brand that you wanna get. It's peach tree, um, peach schnapps. It's, this is a great brand. You can, I normally have this with orange juice, becomes a fuzzy navel and uh, it tastes great. Now, one thing that you may want to do is once you pour the juice in here, don't forget that don't throw the juice away. Get some orange juice and now you have pineapple with peach knobs inside a fuzzy navel. So great idea. So you don't have to throw the liquor away. So now what you want to do is just pour it in here. 
and just pour enough that can be covered. Let's see here. Let's see if that's enough here. Now we're gonna pour the rest. Well, there goes my bottle. Gives me an excuse to go get another one. So then we wanna go ahead and sip it up. And this is what I'm talking about. Like you lay it flat and then every so often flip it around so the other ones can get it, move it around. So the juice, so it could suck up all that peach snob. So then what, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the fridge and let it set. You can let it sit for two hours and stay tuned so you can see how we grill them. If this video was helpful in any which way, perhaps it made you wanna try this great recipe, then one way to support us is if you'd be kind enough to give us a thumbs up on this video below, because then the YouTube algorithm will be able to share it with others. Now, another way to support our channel, it's all about food and places, is to check out the merchandise store in the link below in the description. Here's the pineapple that's been marinating in the peach schnapps in the refrigerator, and we've been tossing it every so often and kind of move things around switch them around and make sure that about every half hour we went ahead and kept turning it around until it soaked that juice. It smells delicious, I tell you. So now what we're gonna do is that here we have some brown sugar and we mix some cinnamon inside. We're gonna go ahead and take each of these pineapples and put cinnamon on top and we're gonna use this tray here. So we're gonna show you how it's done. In the meanwhile, our black stone, I went ahead and turned it up to high heat in order to get it warm. Once I get this done, then we're gonna go ahead and bring it down to about medium, medium low. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take, we'll take several at a time and put it here. Just like that. Make sure the juice don't spill out. So we're just gonna take some of this cinnamon and just put it on here. As long as you put it all over. And then go ahead and flip it. Just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and do this to all of them and then set it to the side before we put it on a grill. So here it is, once it's done with the brown sugar and cinnamon in it, and of course our peach snobs. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it to the grill and show you how it's done. I tell you what, I can't wait. And we wanna go ahead and put the pineapples on here and pretty much we just wanna go ahead and just sear it. They're only gonna be just a few minutes on each side. So here's the yummy licious pineapple. Again, it's only gonna be just for a few minutes. So it should be nice and hot. Kind of medium, medium high. What other recipes or what other fruits have you done on the grill? Please let me know. No oil needs to be put on there. This is perfectly fine. I'm gonna set this to the side here. So if you could only had smell of vision, if you can smell it, oh my goodness. It just smells delicious. That peach snob with the pineapple smell and the brown sugar, it's gonna caramelize this pineapple as it sears. And one, you'll see it all nice and caramelized. That means, man, it's just, just right. 
Again, we're only going to do just about two to three minutes on one side. We're going to flip it and then do two to three minutes on the other side and it's ready to eat. That's how simple this is. So we'll go ahead and give it a little time. So what I have here is a fuzzy navy. It's orange juice with peach knob in addition to pineapple. Mmm, mighty tasty. So you don't have to throw away that marinade because it's just pineapple juice mixed in with peach knob. So as you can see, it's almost at the end of three minutes, we're gonna go ahead and flip the beers. All right, as you can see, we went ahead and flipped them over and it's been about two, three minutes and you can see how it's caramelized. Again, it's not about cooking it all the way through because it's not meat. It's about searing it so you can get that caramelization and everybody will love it. In fact, you can even uh, do this with a spoon of ice cream, vanilla ice cream with it. The, the options are so phenomenal. So you can smell the aroma, guys. You can do many different fruits on the grill and you'd be amazed and what your neighbors and friends will say after they try it out. I'm gonna just take one, see what it looks like. Let's take it right here, smell the first one. Ooh, look at that. The colors are nice. So now I'm gonna do, for those that are wide enough, I wanna see if I can stand it on the one end so I can get the end. Yeah, I can't do it to all of them. This is done, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off, put it on a plate, and show you what it looks like. Look how beautiful that looks. Put it here. Oh, we're gonna be also doing some uh, chicken tacos. Uh, I did it not too long ago, and a lot of my friends were asking me for the recipe, so I told them I will create a video and show them. But we're gonna kick it up a notch. You have to wait and see. So make sure you subscribe and hit the all bell, so like that when the video comes out, it'll automatically alert you when it comes. It's just watering. Look at this beautiful plate. Look at that. It smells delicious and I have one here. This is for the chef. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, mm, mm, mm. This is delicious, guys. Mm. I tell you, once you do this, you'll come back again over and over again. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. And we have many other videos about different recipes and we got more coming in regards to, oh, we're gonna do one with some chicken tacos coming up soon.